What's going on, miners? I'm Chum Change XD. Today's video, I'm going to be giving you guys the best possible overclocks that we could get inside Hive OS for the RTX 4090. Now, this is going to be for Ravencoin, Alethium, Caspa, Ergo, ETC, and Flux. All I ask is if you guys appreciate this content or it helped you in any way, please consider subscribing at the end of the video. Let's get into it. All right, so here we are in the PC looking at Ravencoin. As you can see, it's balls to the wall, just plugged in, zero clocks. We have 61.40 mega hash at 399 watts. Now, just for the record, we are using Force PO state. As you can see, it's checked off right here on the flight sheet, and it will be the same way throughout all of these algorithms that we're showing you guys today. And we are using the Gigabyte 1000 Watt PCIe Gen 5 compliant PSU. So it shouldn't have any issues with overclocking and whatnot. Now, looking here at Ravencoin, this is the highest we could get it because we were testing to see if it would get upwards of the 600 watt mark and it wouldn't. The highest it would get is 450 at 72.03 mega hash. 300 on the core and 4,000 on the memory. Now over here, the most efficient that we could get on Ravencoin was 64.50 mega hash at 320 watts. We had the core at 200, we had the memory at 1500 and the power limit at 320. Those clocks give you a 0 0.20 efficiency rating. Now over here at Flux, as you can see, balls to the wall, no clocks, just plugged in, 145.4 souls, 356 watts. The most efficient clocks that we could find is 130.8 souls at 289 watts. We have 200 on the core, 1500 on the memory, and 290 on the power limit. That is a 0.45 efficiency rating. Over here at ETC, zero clocks, balls to the wall, just plugged in, 116.2 mega hash at 315 watts. Most efficient overclocks we could find for this 134.8 mega hash at 275 watts. We have 200 on the core, 3,500 on the memory, and 275 on the power limit. That's a 0.49 efficiency rating. Now over here at Ergo, again, just plugged in, balls to the wall, no clocks, 245 mega hash, 237 watts. The most efficient clocks we could get for Ergo were 291.8 mega hash at 200 watts. Honestly, this one actually did surprise us quite a bit. We have 200 on the core, 3,500 on the memory, and 200 on the power limit. That's a 1.45 efficiency rating. Now looking over here at Caspa, again, just plugged in, balls to the wall, no clocks, 2.269 giga hash at 444 watts. The most efficient clocks we get on Caspa was 1.964 giga hash at 260 watts. We had 200 on the core, 1,000 on the memory, and 260 on the power limit. That's a 7.55 efficiency rating. And last but not least, we have lithium plugged in, balls to the wall, no clocks, 5.642 giga hash at 450 watts. And the most efficient clocks we could get for a lithium was 5.228 giga hash at 300 watts. We had 200 on the core, 2000 on the memory, and 300 on the power limit. That is a 17.42 efficiency rating. So what'd you guys think? This was just meant to be a short video. I wanted to kind of just blast it out, give you guys quick to the point. If you guys really did appreciate this kind of video, please go down there, hit that like button and consider subscribing. I'm not too thrilled with the 4090, to be honest, for the price and the hash rate. I mean, it is okay overall, but I would like to have seen it get a little more when it comes to mining, but I'm sure it's great for gaming and everything else if that's what you're using it for. So all the power to you. If you guys got one, congratulations. And if you guys enjoyed that video, don't forget to click on this one right here, and I'll see you guys real soon. Peace.